So guys, welcome to this devlog and today we will cover the Lima project a little bit or how I use the examples in my own projects. So yeah, it's a Lima project which you can get from the Epic Launcher and what I did is the following. I migrated the procedural mesh modeling tools to a new plugin and yeah, you can install it now in every project you want without any headaches <laughs> migrating or so. The materials are correctly set up and so on or which is quite amazing is you can also install it into directly into the engine and then reuse the blueprints there for example um, this one here is great for creating tubes so you can move around with those handles if you activate them so let me quickly check so I'll make this bigger so here you can then move around the handles and it feels like playing with Lego <laughs> and creating the shapes. So yeah, what I did with those tools is, yeah, basically did this block out here for a side scroller project I, I'm currently working on. And yeah, it is basically city block out. And, but what you need to introduce into your world is this generated mesh cold storage, because this takes care about the meshes here down below. Because we have we have two types of meshes. So one is the uh, yeah the generated mesh, so which you can use the handles and move around the stuff. And then if you yeah click on where is it here? Click on bake to static mesh or generate new static mesh. Then it will take some time. So like we have here, and then. I think you need to do a right click and swap to static mesh. So then it's a static mesh and the other mesh should be down below somewhere. I think it's hidden. So let me search for tube. Tube. I think it's this one. No, this one. Ah, here is it. Sorry. Here is it. So that's the that's the generated mesh, and then yeah, it basically swaps the meshes for us. So that's very convenient, and then we can just work with the static mesh here. That's that's why I love those tools a lot, and I also yeah extended the implementation a little bit. So if I can go here to scripted actor actor actions, I can say swap to generated mesh, and then here do a right click again, and then here we get the same functions which we have if we click here on the buttons. That's, I found this more convenient and it's done with blue utilities. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to cover more blue utility stuff, you can watch my series down below and yeah, learn more about these. So also guys, let me know if you want to have a tutorial on how to migrate those tools into a new plugin and then extend it with those blue utilities here and what I also did is because there was no box so far so let me remove this one and also let me go into the project here so if I go to Aachen folder here's the prototyping folder so there was basically no box um, Generated mesh, or procedural mesh, but here we can just yeah create those boxes like like playing with Legos. <laughs> I created those boxes behind there, and then we can do uh, scripted extra assets switch to static mesh. Then take some time again, and then we have the static mesh, and we can move around the static mesh. It's yeah, it's it's very amazing. Or you can do right click, swap to generated mesh, and start again. Adapting those, right click, bake to static mesh, and swap it again. And then you can use the static mesh. So it will basically edit all instances of the static mesh here. So yeah. So yeah, it's a really, a really short session about the Lyra tools. I love the stuff there. So maybe I will reuse more stuff soon and share new devlogs about it. So yeah, happy coding to you and see you soon.